So this is the deal. All of my 3D printing spools are thrown around everywhere and are a complete mess. So today I decided to practice my welding skills and made a rack for my 3D printing spools. I started out by using a one and a half inch square tube that I had laying around. It has a coat of rust, but afterwards I'm going to take it out. Here I just cut it off the end to make sure that all of my cuts were going to be straight. Then I used some measuring tape to make the lines to, for my different cuts and I simply transferred it to all of the different sizes. Then I used my angle grinder to cut it off and it worked great. There you can see my dog in the background. She likes to see what I am working on. So here what I made are two 8 inch pieces and two 4.5 inch pieces. Then I made some more marks and I made a 25 inch piece. I also cut some threaded rod that I had around to the same length. And then I started to tack weld all of the pieces together. I just used one of the 4.5 inch pieces and one of the 8 inch pieces to make a nail shape. And I used a grinding disc to remove all of the welding material and make it flat. After that, I used a sanding disc to make it even more flat and also take off the rust. It actually gave it a pretty cool kind of polished look that I really like. I wanted to maintain a rather industrial look on these pieces, so I didn't go on it that many times with the sander. Once I was done with the two L's, I also sanded down the 25 inch piece that I was going to put them together. And once I was done, I started tack welding both of the L shapes to the cross brace. Always making sure to keep my work square. Then I went back in there and I welded it together. I have really improved my welding skills since the last video that I made. I'm really proud of the results that I have been getting. Here's an example of a weld that I did today. It's a thousand times better than last time. Then I measured the threaded rod, made a quick design and I printed out some holders. I had to set up this workbench outside because I had some paint drying in my workshop and it was very hard to work in there. So here I'm simply drilling and tapping some holes and then screwing up the 3D printed pieces to the metal. And I did the same for the other side. Then just put the threaded rod in. Put in your favorite spools and there you have it, a rack for your 3D printing filament spools. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every week. Also post in the comments below what you would like to see me build next.